High School. My name is Nancy Sichimwa. Join me as I have a chat with the lecturers on abridged program that has been introduced here at Gideon Roberts University. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, can you tell us, Gideon Roberts University has been approved to start training a bridge program. Before we go any further, can you explain what is the meaning of a bridge program? Okay, basically a bridge just means um, someone is already qualified mm -hmm. okay, in a nursing field and that is they are enrolled, which means mm -hmm. they have a certificate, mm -hmm. but they want to get a diploma. Mm -hmm. So a bridge, they are moving from... Uh, a lower grade mm -hmm. to the higher grade that is from the certificate to a diploma. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, how do you feel that um, the General Nursing Council of Zambia has approved Gideon Robert University to start training a bridge program? I think this is a great thing, mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, like at now, the government is eradicating uh, the enrolled nursing mm -hmm. and we have got a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Previously, we had only very few. Uh, colleges which had D, which could offer uh, registered nursing. Mm -hmm. Now, since now, they are about to phase out this enrolled nursing. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a paper like enrolled nursing, you cannot work out, uh, outside the, uh, in another country. There are only certain countries which can allow you to work from, like Malawi, Tanzania, and Zambia. These are the only uh, countries which can uh, accept enrolled nurses. But now, since they are eradicating this, because in Zambia, we we'll no longer again be employing uh, cadres like those who have certificates. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the human life, mm -hmm. it has to be handled by people who have been well trained. So for someone to qualify that he has got a, an approved training, they should have at least, the, low, the minimum level should be a diploma. So as a, a school, we feel very grateful that we are, we are going to offer this, this course mm -hmm. because it will enable the Zambians also to access the courses. We have got minimal payments here. Mm -hmm. We are not very expensive. And also, not only that, it's the only private school mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which is growing so fast. And we have got a lot of students and we have a number of lecturers who are, who are well qualified and most of them are skilled uh, lecturers who have been working for a long time, meaning that they have acquired enough skill. So I feel grateful, Nancy. Thank you very much. Uh, you said something like enrolled nursing. Does it mean that enrolled nursing is a certificate in nursing? Certainly. Thank you very much. Uh, what words of advice do you have for our viewers out there who want to come to Gideon Roberts University? Yeah, like, uh, let me start with the question you asked my colleague. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a certificate, it means that uh, someone, it's just a basic certificate. Enrolled means that you are just enrolled on the register mm -hmm. of nurses to work just in Zambia. Not outside. Not it. outside, mm -hmm. yeah. So we are grateful that we'll be offering this course. Mm -hmm. And we are ready. By July, we are starting the class, mm -hmm. and we can advise the those with enrolled nursing. Mm -hmm. They should not look at what they have, but let them just come here. We'll be able to train them, and they'll be registered nurses. Mm -hmm. And as you have seen, with the coming of Corona, there are no nurses outside Zambia. Mm -hmm. Like in European countries, they don't have nurses. And they're looking for a number of nurses mm -hmm. to work there. So if with their certificate, they cannot work there. Mm -hmm. But when we, they are trained as diploma holders, they'll be able to work outside there. And they can also be, be able to work in Zambia. So I feel they should come and train at Gideon Robert University. Thank you very much. Uh, before we go in, Peter, can you tell us your position here at Gideon Robert University? Yes, please. I'm a lecturer. I offer anatomy and physiology and also surgery. Mm -hmm. And also I'm acting... Um, a senior lecturer. Thank you very much. Um, please, sir, can you also tell us your position here at Gideon Roberts University? I'm a lecturer. Mm -hmm. I teach medicine, pediatrics, surgery, and um, anatomy and physiology, as well as microbiology. Thank you very much. Uh, since you are going to start um, training a bridge program by July this year, um, how is the enrollment? How do how can someone enroll to start a bridge program here at Gideon Roberts University? 
I feel the earlier the better they can start coming to our university. Mm -hmm. We have already prepared the application forms. Mm -hmm. Then they will sell the application forms to them mm -hmm. and then we will advise them what they are supposed to do. So the, the earlier they, they come, mm -hmm. the better, because there are very few schools which are offering uh, a bridge program. There's only Livingstone and uh, Ndola and Lusaka, that's all. But when we look at the number of enrolled nurses, there are so many compared to registered nurses. So the earlier they come, the better. Uh, do you have any words to say about uh, what um, your colleague has just said right now? Yeah, basically what I want to add on is um, we are welcoming everyone mm -hmm. who's got a certificate and they want to upgrade, provided they are just registered with General Nursing Council of Zambia, mm -hmm. they have their license, then they can come and enroll with us. Mm -hmm. Like he said, we're a very affordable university and we, can, we have also um, an understanding with students. Yeah. Apart from just talking about this new abridged program that will be starting here at Gideon Robert University, how can you tell someone out there to choose Gideon Robert University? We have a lot of universities in our country. Why should someone come to Gideon Robert University? Gideon University is a fast growing university and we've got enough rooms mm -hmm. where we can train them from. Mm -hmm. Unlike going to other schools, and also we look at also the afford affordability of fees. Mm -hmm. Let them come to this school, which is able to offer them affordable fees, so that they are well trained. And, and I've already explained that we've got a lot of specialized lecturers. I don't know, I can't comment on what other universities are offering. Mm -hmm. I feel that maybe, I feel we are doing better. We, are, we just started, but look at the number of students we have. We have plenty of students. And we have enough room. The school is growing so fast. And we've got affordable fees. Yes, madam. Um, looking at Gideon Roberts University, we, you have two campuses. Can you tell us uh, what, what courses are offered at the main campus and is it, are they the same courses that are being offered in Lilai campus? There are different courses offered at the main campus and at Lilai. At Lilai we are offering the medical courses, mm -hmm. nursing and clinical officers. Those are the only courses we are offering here. At, at the main campus there are other courses, a lot of courses which are being offered there. Thank you very much. Uh, can you tell us how ready are you lecturers here at Gideon Roberts University for this new program? Okay. We are very much ready. Mm -hmm. If the program was to start now, could have even started even this time. Mm -hmm. It's on that our, paper, our certificate came late, mm -hmm. that's why we have pushed it to July. So that we also enable people to prepare funds see, to come to school. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we are ready, even tomorrow we can start. Uh, since you are saying uh, someone can apply right now for this new abridged program, uh, what other platforms can they apply on? What other platforms can they use to apply on f or for this program? Okay, we have Facebook. They can you can also use our email address, and they can also come in person. Like my colleague said, mm. the us as the lecturers are very eager mm -hmm. and ready. Mm -hmm. Uh, geared, like we said earlier on, uh, it's important and very good to learn from the best. So we are very prepared. Our skills lab is waiting for them, mm -hmm. very furnished. Mm -hmm. Our library furnished, and all the material they want is readily available. So we, as lecturers, we are very, very, very much ready. Thank you very much. Uh, for the this afternoon. Uh, the program has been uh, approved by General Nursing Council to uh, offer training at Gideon Robert University. Mm -hmm. And um, we are so glad and very happy mm -hmm. to start training uh, a bridge program at Gideon Robert University. Uh, it is good in the sense that uh, these are people who are already professionals. Mm -hmm. They are already uh, working in mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. So it makes, it, it makes things easy for mm -hmm. them. Why? Because they are already doing it in the hospital. 
Mm -hmm. Though they have uh, at this, they have enrolled nurse certificate level. Mm -hmm. So when they Which come, means uh, enrolled nurse certificate is uh, mm -hmm. it's like someone is just having a certificate in nursing, mm -hmm. not a diploma. No, not a diploma. This is where now they, they are. Why it is called abridged? Mm -hmm. Abridged meaning it means that something that is going to be done to make them uh, understand uh, mm -hmm. from a certificate level to a diploma. Mm -hmm. So they will be trained for one year mm -hmm. at Gideon Robert University. Thereafter, they will obtain uh, a diploma in nursing that mm -hmm. is going to be issued by General Nursing Council of Zambia. Mm -hmm. Sure. Since you are uh, the, enroll the enrollment, mm. uh, when is the enrollment starting? The enrollment is, is starting now. Okay. You are most welcome uh, enrolled nurse to mm -hmm. come and apply at Gideon Robert University. Mm -hmm. Come all and come. You are invited to start applying at uh, Gideon Robert University. Mm -hmm. uh, it is ongoing until in July. Mm -hmm. So the classes will commence in July. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we need to give time mm -hmm. to those people uh, who are working mm -hmm. and also to be given leave, mm -hmm. local leave for them to come and learn here mm -hmm. because they are working mm -hmm. in government. Not only that, we are flexible in terms of payment. Yes. Uh, when we compare to other universities, mm -hmm. for us we have the facility. Mm -hmm. Uh, to pay using government payroll. So as they are government payroll, mm -hmm. government workers rather, mm -hmm. they can easily pay using their pay slip. Okay. Yes. And how ready uh, are you as a school? How ready are you for this abridged program? In terms of readiness, we are very much ready. Mm -hmm. If you can see the classrooms, we have enough space, mm -hmm. we have enough qualified lecturers, mm -hmm. we have very good facility in terms of computer rooms, mm -hmm. you can talk computer laboratory rather, you talk of a skills lab is well furnished, you talk of a uh, libra uh, library is well stocked with the books, not only that we also have a library. Mm -hmm. Okay. In addition of e-library, we also have what we call Hinari, mm -hmm. okay, e-granary. All those are the facilities that we can use for mm -hmm. uh, the learners to use. Mm -hmm. That is how eleverness we are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, lecturers are ready to be, they are already excited, prepared, excited to, to start teaching mm -hmm. so that they can also acquire uh, a diploma in nursing. What words of advice do you have for our uh, viewers out there who want to come to the University University to study a bridge program? Thank you very much. Uh, we are very excited to come and uh, meet you people out there who are already professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, don't feel uh, that you are neglected, mm -hmm. but the time has come for you mm -hmm. to be uh, to f to fill the gap mm -hmm. that has been there between. Uh, certificate and a diploma mm -hmm. so now you come to Gideon Robert University we have well qualified lecturers mm -hmm. we have uh, different or uh, specialized lecturers mm -hmm. in different field uh, at Gideon Robert University mm -hmm. and we have very flexible in terms of payment yes we know that uh, uh, things are not okay yeah. but still you can easily uh, pay if we, you can use government payroll, you can pay as low as 800 kwacha. Mm -hmm. That is how how different it is mm -hmm. with other university mm -hmm. because you'll be generating paying using government payroll every month. You pay 800 kwacha until you pro, until you finish your program or within one year. Surely that is how. Is Gideon Robert University registered with higher institutions? Oh, wonderful. That is a very cardinal point. Gideon Robert University is a well-recognized well institution world over. Mm -hmm. Not only that, we are accredited by higher education authority. Mm -hmm. We are also 
are accredited by mm -hmm. uh, General Nursing Council of Zambia that have approved this program for mm -hmm. us to run it here at the mm -hmm. Lidai Campus. Yes. Okay. Not only that, we are also accredited by Health Professional Council of Zambia where we are running programs in uh, clinical medicine. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, yes, Gideon Robert University is well known. Uh, be it in the country as well as other countries. Mm -hmm. Even here as we are speaking, mm -hmm. there are uh, students from different countries. Mm -hmm. We talk of South Africa, talk of Zimbabwe, talk of Namibia, talk of uh, Nigeria. Yeah. So they are part of Gideon Robert University. So mm -hmm. this is why we say Gideon Robert University is there to stay and it's there to bring quality. Quality assurance is what we mean about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Munda. Mm -hmm. I'm a clinical instructor here for Abrid program. Okay. Yes. So what we have here is called a steamer. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one of the instruments that are used for autoclaving instruments, preparing instruments to be served so that they are, they are used. Mm -hmm. So initially, um, instruments that you use when uh, you are operating on someone, mm -hmm. they're supposed to be very very clean free from germs free from bacteria free from viruses mm -hmm. so the only way you can achieve that is either by boiling those instruments mm -hmm. or by steaming them mm -hmm. or by exposing them to dry dry heat like in a, in a, in a oven mm -hmm. so here we have a steamer mm -hmm. so how this machine operates is that uh, it creates pressure as water is boiling is that you pour water in and then you, you put your instruments Mm -hmm. in a cylinder which is separate from the water mm -hmm. so as the water is boiling mm -hmm. steam which is there will, will be so hot that uh, it will it will kill all the viruses that are on those instruments mm -hmm. so this procedure is called steriliz sterilization by steam method okay. so this is the portable steamer that we use mm -hmm. uh, since Gideon Robert University has been approved by General Nursing Council of Zambia to start training the upgrade program. How do you feel about that? And how ready are you? Well, that's a great thing. That's a great achievement that we've been uh, accorded a chance to, to start training for upgrade program. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really good. We are well equipped and we are ready. Actually, we're supposed to have uh, an intake, mm -hmm. but uh, because of uh, other things that we're still preparing, mm -hmm. um, now we are ready. Mm -hmm. If I told they were going to say start now, we can recruit. Mm -hmm. But come July, we'll be ready for them. Thank you very much. Uh, what words of advice do you have for people out there who are watching us? Gideon Robert University mm -hmm. is well vanished. Mm -hmm. It's well equipped. Please come to Gideon Robert University. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Can you tell us your names and your position here at Gideon Robert University, Lai Campus? Okay, I'm Madam Chanda mm -hmm. and I'm one of the clinical instructors for Gideon Robert University. Mm -hmm. This is where you find me in the skills lab. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us how ready are you as the skills lab for this new average program? Okay, we are very ready. As you can see, our skills lab is well equipped mm -hmm. with all the equipment that the students will need. Mm -hmm. We've got everything that they need for them to do their clinical drills and mm -hmm. when we drill them from the skills lab then they are ready to go to the hospitals and there are various uh, different departments in the hospital. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, apart from him, uh, where, are you, where are you taking them for attachments? For attachments of course we take them, it depends on the level that they are training, okay? Mm -hmm. So for those who are in, of course, in their foundation, they're supposed to go for their general words. Mm -hmm. The general words, they can be taken to U UTH, Navy, they can also be taken to various different mm -hmm. clinics that are around, of course, around Osaka, even other towns. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, of course, if they're doing their specialties, we take them to specialty hospitals such as it could be UTH, mm -hmm. such as ICU, mm -hmm. theater, so it just depends on the level of training, yes, mm -hmm. that will determine where we take them. So does it mean that the level of training, uh, even in a bridge program, there are levels? For a bridge, of course, they are changing from, um, from AN, they are going to 
they are becoming registered nurses. So there are certain programs that mm -hmm. was not included in their mm -hmm. program, which will be included. Mm -hmm. They will need to be, of course, they may have done them, but maybe advanced, so mm -hmm. they may need to be retrained. It's like retraining mm -hmm. and also being attached to those hospitals to see that they are fit to be registered nurses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can you tell us personally, how do you feel that Gideon, how, how are you feeling now that Gideon Robert University has been approved to start this program? Of course, it's very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, to me, I'm also happy that that program has been approved. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're happy because we're improving in the health system of mm -hmm. our nation, so yes. we're happy to be part of that contribution to making Zambia, of course, in terms of health, better. Uh, what ways of advice do you have for someone out there who wants to do this abridged program? Of course, they are wel welcome to Gideon Roberts University mm -hmm. because we are ready and we've got uh, skilled, qualified personnel to deliver according to the standard. Of course, they are welcome to Gideon Roberts University. Mm -hmm. We have enough staff, we've got equipment, we've got enough space to accommodate mm -hmm. each and every one and of course to deliver according to uh, GNC standard and mm -hmm. they are welcome to come to Gideon Roberts University. Good afternoon Mr. Chandra. Afternoon madam. Uh, can you tell us your position here at Gideon Roberts University on the main campus? Okay. I'm the acting assistant librarian mm -hmm. here at Gideon Roberts University. Mm -hmm. Usually, this is where I'm found mm -hmm. in the library department. Okay. Uh, since the uh, General Nursing Council of Zambia has approved Gideon Roberts University to start training a bridge program, how ready are you as the library department? Okay. We are ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we are ready because everything has been set. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the online library mm -hmm. and we also have. Uh, in Ali, mm -hmm. which helps, in, which we feel that it will help the, the nurses who will be doing the abridged program. Mm -hmm. Because <coughs> when you come here mm -hmm. as, as a nurse mm -hmm. or as a student, we usually give the, the username for in Ali mm -hmm. and the password where you need to log in and access the information materials. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the in Ali system. It's very effective and it's uh, currently working. Okay. As you even these the registered nursing that we have, mm -hmm. yes, together with clinical medicine students. How, how do you feel that Gideon <coughs> Roberts University is now approved to start this program? How do you feel? Uh, it is actually a joyous moment mm -hmm. because we feel that we will help uh, uh, the society even at large the country, because we will be able to improve the healthy sector. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I feel. Uh, we hope and uh, we, are, we are happy, mm -hmm. because uh, in as much as we will be helping uh, people to personally to access uh, information in the library, we mm -hmm. make sure that each and everyone benefit and when they go out, they should be able to explain the situations that the health sector is facing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you trying to say that um, when it comes to the library, you have an online library and the physical one where you come in here? Yes, we usually have the, as you can see, mm -hmm. we have the physical one mm -hmm. and the online one, mm -hmm. which I've already said in Ari. Mm -hmm. And also we have eGLAN where the students need to log in as well. We have okay. two types of um, online. online libraries. Mm -hmm. So we have the Inari mm -hmm. and the eGLAN. So the physical one, as you can see, this is the one that we have here. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we also have the strong internet facility uh, so that we ensure that each and every student benefit to access the information, mm -hmm. either physical or online. Mm -hmm. That's what I mm -hmm. So what words of advice do you have for someone out there who is planning on coming to Gideon Robert University for this new course? Okay. Um, 
what I can say, let them come. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure they will testify to say that the library department, mm -hmm. we are fully stocked mm -hmm. and we have what is required for them to benefit mm -hmm. uh, the information sources here at Gibbon University. University. And uh, they will enjoy the the <coughs> the environment, the studying environment here mm -hmm. at Kitwa University. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Do you have any last words to say about the Abridge program? We, what I can say mm -hmm. is that when they come, mm -hmm. they will find qualified members of staff mm -hmm. that will help them achieve their goals. Mm -hmm. that they may fulfill even to provide the good health services to the community. Mm -hmm. So I uh, welcome each and everyone, those who want to apply, mm -hmm. let them apply so that we may have a good number of students mm -hmm. that will bring development to this nation. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us on today's program, My School. My name is Nancy Sichimo. As you have heard from our lectures, you can apply for this abridged program here at Gideon Roberts University through WhatsApp, online, or you can send an, an email on vc at gideonrobertsuniversity.com.